Michael Chiarello, Food Network star and celeb chef, died after an allergic reaction. Food Network icon Michael Chiarello died from an anaphylactic shock and heart attack, leading to hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Chiarello was brought back to life but died from brain dysfunction. It is unclear if his allergic reaction was food-related. Chiarello had cocaine in his system at the time of his death, but not from a drug overdose. He hosted shows on Food Network and PBS and won an Emmy for Outstanding Service Show Host in 2005. Melissa Barrera speaks out after Scream 7 apostrophe firing, silence is not an option for me. Melissa Barrera, who was fired from Scream 7 after controversial comments on social media about the Israel-Hamas war, has condemned anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. She expressed her responsibility as a Latina and proud Mexicana to raise awareness about issues and lend her voice to those in need. Barrera portrayed Sam Carpenter in 2022 Scream and raised eyebrows by posting about the war. She emphasized that every person deserves equal human rights, dignity, and freedom, and that no governing body should be above criticism. She pledged to continue advocating for peace, safety, human rights, and freedom. Scream 7 director Christopher Landon responded to Barrera's statement while Spyglass Entertainment stated that they have zero tolerance for anti-Semitism or hate speech. Daryl Hall, John Oates claim they never had real fight before a lawsuit, it's a miracle. Daryl Hall and John Oates, the beloved 70s pop duo Hall and Oates, have been granted a temporary restraining order by a judge, sparking a tense legal battle. Hall filed a lawsuit against Oates in Nashville, labeled as relating to a contract, debt suit. In a conversation with the Post three years ago, Hall claimed that the man-eater songsters never fight. Oates added that the fact that Daryl and Oates are still friends is a miracle. Hall doubled down on the fact that the pair are business partners on Bill Maher's Club Random podcast last year, stating that they are not creative brothers but business partners. Hall and Oates formed in Philadelphia in 1970 and have sold over 80 million records worldwide. Piano man Billy Joel is in a Long Island state of mind with new Hall of Fame exhibit. Billy Joel, who purchased a 26-acre Long Island estate in 2002 for $49 million, has announced that he will not be leaving Long Island. The Long Island Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame, Limehoff, will host his retrospective exhibit Billy Joel, My Life, A Piano Man's Journey until next August. The exhibit, which traces Joel's journey from a Bronx-born baby to the keyboard rocking king of Madison Square Garden, will feature a treasure trove of items, including a Harley Davidson motorcycle modeled after the cover of his 1980 hit You May Be Right and his personal book of lyrics. Joel's Blessing opened a treasure trove of fan memorabilia, including a 1961 spring recital program featuring a 12-year-old William Joel and an autographed wooden seat from one of his Soviet Union concerts. Additionally, a 9-foot piano used on his face-to-face -face tour with Elton John will be displayed in the exhibit. Joel said that while his message residency ends on July 25, 2024, he is not saying goodbye to the stage. He said, I'm not leaving. The Limehoff, which opened its museum in Stony Brook last year, will feel like home for Joel until next August.